Hi, thanks for joining me. My name is Tony Antriano. I am an attorney in Will County, Illinois, handling primarily family law cases, and I put together an online presentation to deal with the changes in Illinois divorce law in 2016. They were pretty drastic, particularly in the area of custody. In fact, the word custody and the idea of custody has been uh, eliminated by the statute so we just we don't have it anymore there is no idea of custody uh, you are not awarded custody there's no joint custody uh, again the term it's pretty drastic has been eliminated uh, so there's like I said a realignment of terminology uh, sole custody gone joint custody gone and we have this new idea of allocating uh, allocation of parenting responsibilities uh, go figure that's what it is and that's what the law is now in Illinois so it is a the to get some idea of why they did this as best as I can tell it uh, the Illinois legislature thought that it was in the best interest of families that we get away from those ideas of custody because the idea of custody quite frankly gave a lot of power and perhaps too much power to one parent that was awarded custody and then the non-custodial parent was on some uh, some uh, lesser uh, parenting rights so the idea is to kind of equalize that and say both parents should be parenting so there is some uh, you know a laudable and and, and, and good reason behind it it's going to be uh, We'll see how the implementation of it goes. So again, with it, some of the language has also changed. No visitation, because that would, is what a non-custodial parent gets. Uh, we just have the parents dividing up, allocating parenting time. So both parents have at parenting time. Nobody uh, is, is relegated to a second position of having visitation. Uh, we don't have sole custody agreements or joint parenting agreements. There's only one thing we've got now, and it will be a parenting plan. Also changed is the idea of removing children from Illinois. We no longer have that. That's not children aren't removed from Illinois. They are relocated, so relocation, uh, more than a certain mileage distance from their current residence. So that that we'll get into that a little. Uh, but back to the big change with the allocation of parenting responsibilities. Uh, these would traditionally have been the joint parenting areas where parents might, uh, on these areas of education, health, religion, extracurricular, where they would get together and say, well, let's make a joint decision on all these major life areas for children. Uh, the statute now just says everybody gets allocated parenting uh, responsibility in this way uh, if both parents agree to education and both health both religion both extracurricular activities then both are going to make those decisions but one might have uh, but it can be mixed up so one or both uh, can make the decision uh, it brings up the issue of child support meaning if we're moving away from custody and non-custody then what happens to child support because it is true that uh, under the old law uh, the non-custodial parent would pay support and pay guideline percentage uh, child support well the new statute really just changes the term instead of because there's we can't have the non-custodial parent paying support because there's no such thing as uh, custodial there's the words gone so now we just have supporting parent uh, and that was really the only big change that they made with child support. Uh, really, this is part of a trend in really liberalizing the child support s framework that we've always had in Illinois, meaning percentage guideline support in these more rigid uh, sh structures to, just to say how child support should be. The trend, and in, in, ma in many states have moved towards this, is a much more broader view of what child support should be. And bottom line of what is each household living on to exist. Uh, and there's a more recent Supreme Court case in Illinois where a very well-to-do father who had custody of the kids um, 
actually had to pay support to his wife, former wife rather, uh, because she made so little and uh, to afford some level of equal parenting, uh, the court uh, saw that the wealthy uh, father who had custody still needed to provide also for his his wife uh, so that the kids had a place to visit and, and whatnot. So um, all to that is, is it, that child support issues are more flexible than they used to be, but for now we still have the statutory guidelines. Uh, reasons, grounds for a divorce, that was a big change because uh, under the old law we had all these old ideas of mental cruelty, adultery, abandonment, transmitting an STD, drug and alcohol addiction, there's there's uh, several others. And these, uh, every once in a while you'd get a case where somebody wanted to allege these. Um, the law has really, we've moved on. Uh, basically with the change is that uh, irreconcilable difference is the only way to go or the only way you can go and basically if one want, one parent wants to or one party wants to get divorced they certainly have that right to do it uh, so th just a little bit um, and uh, the last slide is on relocation so uh, under the old law it would be a parent would uh, file a motion to remove a child from the state of Illinois problem with the old law was this. If you lived in uh, Mokina, Illinois and moved to Indiana, that was only maybe a half hour drive. And you were prohibited from doing that without getting permission from the court. Uh, by the same token, if you moved from Will County to Metropolis, Illinois, which was about as far south as you can get, uh, that would be fine because you moved within the state of Illinois and, and that would be 10, 12 hours away. So the new law says we're not, it's not about moving from one state to the other. It's about uh, how far away from the kid's current residence are you moving. So if you're in uh, Cook, Will, DuPage, the Collar counties, uh, it's going to be 25 miles. If you're in anywhere else in Illinois, uh, 50 miles will, will be the limit. So, um, in each state or each county is specified. So, uh, well, that's the, those are the basic and the biggest changes. Uh, certainly not all the changes to the law. There were, it was a major rewrite of the whole divorce statute. And more than ever, uh, you need to consult with an attorney to uh, help you through a divorce right now. Uh, and and guide you through what's what's going on. Uh, if you're in Will County, there's my number. Feel free to c call me. Uh, in any other county, find someone local. Find someone that specializes or uh, concentrates in in family law, and interview a number of attorneys before you hire just one. Uh, pick one rather. So thanks for listening. Uh, hope to have more of these up pretty soon.